If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Classes in QuickBooks Online Plus let you categorize transactions. This is helpful for many things like tracking departmental expenses or tracking amounts by individual line items. To enable class tracking in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Account and Settings link under the Your Company heading to open the Account and Settings window. Click the Advanced button in the menu at the left side of the window. Then click into the Category section to the right to activate its settings. Then click the Track Classes toggle switch to set it to the On position. To show a warning if a transaction is saved without a classification, check the Warn Me When a Transaction Isn't Assigned a Class checkbox. To choose how to assign classes in transactions, use the Assign Classes drop-down to select either the One to Each Row in Transaction or One to Entire Transaction choice. To classify line items, select the One to Each Row in Transaction choice. To classify an entire transaction, instead select the One to Entire Transaction choice. To save your changes, click the Save button in this section. Then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the Account and Settings window to close it. To manage the classes in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the All Lists link under the Lists heading in the menu that appears to open the Lists page. Click the Classes link in the Lists page to open the Classes list page. To create a new class, Click the New button in the upper right corner of the Classes page to open a class window. Enter the name of the class into the Name field. To make the class a subclass of an existing class, check the Is Subclass checkbox and then select Its Parent Class from the drop-down that then appears. It is important to note that when creating subclasses, you can only have five levels of subclasses including the top or parent class. To save the new class, Click the Save button. To run a class quick report on a class in the classes list, click the Run Report link under the Action column in the desired classes row. To edit an existing class, click the drop down under the Action column for the classes row, and then select the Edit link to open the class window again. Then change any class settings and click the Save button to save the changes. To inactivate a class, which reduces your usage, click the drop-down under the Action column for the class's row, and then click the Make Inactive Reduces Usage link. Then click Yes in the confirmation window that appears to confirm your choice. To reactivate an inactivated class if needed, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the class's list. Then check the Include Inactive checkbox in the drop-down menu that appears. Doing this then shows the inactive classes in your classes list. Then click the Make Active link that appears under the Action column in the inactivated classes row. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.